Hello guys, my name is Quimic999 and today I'm gonna show you how to create the most efficient crafting space possible. If you wanna skip directly to the tutorial on how to create them, uh, just skip to this link that is probably shown on the screen here. But before we uh, go into the tutorial, I wanna just explain a little bit about why I'm making this and also how. In Terraria you can create various workbenches. These will help you create more advanced items. For example, a workbench standing nearby you allows you to create a lot more things. There's a limited range to how far you can go before it stops helping you create more things though. In Terraria there's a lot of different types of workbenches. Uh, furnaces, Tinkerer's Workshop, Ancient Manipulator being one of the last ones you'll get, and also various furniture crafting benches. These are in use and you'll likely not use most of them in your playthrough. In Terraria you have a fairly limited range of where you can reach when it comes to crafting tables. If I were to stand here and nest my face into this block, I can just exactly not reach any of these. I can only reach within the green here. So if I were to place workbench here, I get the options now. Anything within the yellow here is reachable by hand with a gizmo pack on. But crafting benches out here will not be able to be reached. Anything in the grey is too far away. Over here I have a big block of about every single uh, crafting bench in the game. Uh, this includes liquids. Certain items require a liquid to be nearby. Although water can be replaced by a sink. The green parts around the workbenches here highlight how much space they take up. Different crafting benches take up different amount of space. Also note that I'm specifically using the dynasty table. This is because if we search up the tables in Terraria, every single other table takes up exactly three more blocks. But the dynasty table takes up only three blocks. Therefore we'll be using this table for our crafting. Table and chairs specifically used for crafting things like watches. We also have alternate storage methods like the Defender Forge, Piggy Bank, Safe and Void Vault. These aren't necessarily workbenches, but they can help you uh, get the items you need for workbenches. And therefore we'll uh, try to imp implement them into our crafting bench. Now here we got a design. This is a fairly old design posted to Reddit about four years ago by Zoom. It's pretty efficient. You can st you stand at the honey here and you go to the right to reach these or go to the left to reach these. You hold down as well. It's got access to all the liquids and a decent amount of workbenches. Not everything though. This is uh, fairly easy to make and uh, can recommend for most people that don't want to min-max everything. Over here we got one of the more complicated ones I've designed. You may notice that a lot of these are floating in mid-air. This shouldn't be possible, but it is, in fact. I can show you how. We can make things float in the air pretty simply by placing two teleporters, anything on top of it, and then simply just breaking the teleporter underneath. Now the downside to this is that if we are to update a block nearby, it will pop off. This creates a few more problems when we uh, want to create a big crafting bench like this. Now to demonstrate, this specific design requires you to hook right here. And you can maybe open a chest and then you can open your crafting menu. And then it reaches every single thing here. You have access to extra chests all over here. And your alternate... Uh, saves. This design does not have access to everything. For example, if we were to implement a demon altar, we can put it right here, switch it a little bit around. Um, as opposed to this design, this design does not have the keg and the blendomatic. If you don't have a demon altar in a convenient location, I would go for this one. The third design is down here. This is for various furniture uh, craftables. Simply stand on this platform, open your crafting t uh, chest, and you can walk right or left to reach each of them. Takes up fairly little space as well. The only thing that's missing from this 
and this combined is lava, but lava is only used for about two crafting recipes. I'll uh, show how to build the one without the demon altar first. To start off with this design, we'll have to first create the terrain around it. Start by uh, placing two platforms here. And two underneath that, we'll create a little pillar here that'll uh, separate the honey and the water. Three blocks over, goes down a little bit here. We can place our chests along the side. These should be placed before any of the other stuff, as well as a piggy bank. You also need to place the liquids in before you place any of the uh, crafting benches. In fact, I can uh, put the piggy bank up one more to take up a little bit less space and then do this. So this is the design you will want to copy first before we begin. Anyways, we'll start off by placing some teleporters here as well as here. We'll have to break this temporarily. Place that there. We'll grab our mithril anvil. Break the platform underneath. Grab an obsidian workbench. You can use any workbench for this. I just like obsidian workbench because it is lava proof. Although that's hardly an issue. Place another teleport here and here. Build this up. Like this. We'll place our ancient manipulator there. Cooking pot. Sawmill. Heavy workbench. Safe. We'll then break this. Place crystal. We'll uh, break this. We'll place the chest bag again. Break the one underneath and put an alchemy table here. Then we break this, place a blendomatic. Break this teleporter here, always two underneath. We'll place one teleporter back again and then place our dynasty table in here. Very important that we do it in a very specific order here. Break these teleporters here, just all of them, but in specific order so you don't break it. Then we take our auto hammer, place it here, and a bookcase. That's the right side done. Break these teleporters, place our loom. Here we place Tinker's Workshop. Underneath here we break three teleporters, and we place our void bolt. Go further down here, break these. We'll place our chair here. The chair works with the table. There's a keg. And our adamant side forge. We'll break all these here. Die vat. Viewing station. And defender's forge. That should be all of it. Can then grab onto this and you can reach everything from here we can uh, op we can put our materials in the chest here we can open our crafting window and we can craft with the materials from the chest so you can create you can put various materials in all these chests here depending on what you need all right let's try and uh, make the one with the demon altar instead First, you want to be able to copy this current setup here. If you uh, found a demon altar, you want to go three blocks out from it, underneath it, and then one down and create a little platform. Underneath the platform, you place a chair. Place three blocks down, right here, to create a wall. Three blocks out. One, two, three, four, five, six blocks out there. A little indents. We have three blocks here, five blocks here, 
and then we have the walls. Place honey and water in each hole here, before anything else. Place your chests in the, these specific locations here, there's exactly one block in between here. And of course our piggy bank as well. So when you have this set up, we can begin building. We'll place our top walls like this. Right, should look something like this. We're gonna have to break this real quick because we need the space. Yep. We'll place it back after. First we'll start with our anvil. Break that underneath, place it back again. And place our crafting table. We'll place our cooking pot. Sawmill over here. Ancient manipulator. Break this. It's a crystal ball. Break this. We'll place our chest back here. Break the one underneath. Viewing station. Just note that we don't, since these are the same size, these can be interchanged in between. I just have this specific setup. Doesn't matter too much. If you change the position between these two, for example, or these two, for that matter. Break underneath here. Here's workshop. Break that. Place the table. Here, here. There, there, there. Place the auto hammer. Bookcase. Done. Place our forge. Good. Down here we'll place our alchemy table. To break down. We'll place our safe there. Break two three down. Void bolt. Break this. Place our loom. And we're gonna find the stretch, we break all these. Place a dive at. Heavy workbench and a defender's forge. And now you can hook to this specific platform, the one right above the chair. And then you can reach everything from here, including the demon altar. The only difference between this design and this design is that this design does not have the keg and the blendomatic. This one creates asphalt and this one creates ale. So not a big loss. Right, here we have the third design. This is mostly for the non-essential crafting tables used for mostly furniture. So let's try and create this. Let's uh, update it. And that's pretty satisfying. We'll break these chests so we get space. First off, uh, you'll have to try and... Oh, we're gonna have to move this one quick. Try and copy the uh, design here. This is where we'll want to stand. So we'll place our teleporters. This. Okay. First we'll place a teapot here. Break underneath. You see, workbench here. This. We'll place our bone welder, living loom, lizard furnace, and a dispenser. Again, these are mostly interchangeable considering they're the same size. Break this. Place China. Steampunk boiler. Flesh cloning vat. Decay chamber. Like this one specifically. There's a plenomatic. Like this. Solidifier. Like that. Ice machine. Break underneath it. Like these. 
sky mill and then lastly a glass kiln. Then when these are broken, we can place our chests back in. There we go. And now we can stand up on this platform here, open our crafting uh, chest, and we can just walk uh, one block to each side depending on which ones we need to reach. The only downside is don't update them, or else it'll explode. This includes block swapping. Here's a fun fact. To craft a watch, you need chain and a relevant bar. Also, you need a table and a chair. In this case, we can use a toilet or a gold toilet as a chair substitute. But this is weird. There's a lot of other toilets in the game. Can we use those as well? Nope. These were added later in the game compared to the toilet and the gold toilet, and for some reason, these do not work as chair substitutes. They do still work as poop showers. Here's a little tip. Did you know you can create a marshmallow on a stick with wood and marshmallow, and you can roast it over the campfire? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed or learned something. See ya!